Took a little break. Forward we go. Looking at my map, I think I've probably got about another half an hour of hiking to get to Tewksbury. If my surmise is accurate, we should be seeing power lines before we Lots of low scrub growth to please turkeys. And another one of these splendid little benches. With a little bit of trash to make it interesting. And this one's got a working view. That's the restaurant I, that was out of business a couple of years ago and we surveyed this from the parking lot. White cedar. Yeah, this is perfect turkey turf. And that's our way back to Plum Island. Forward into the blinding sun is our way to Tewksbury and Duxbury beyond. All these birdies. It even has a little bounce. Eh, not that substitute. That's cool though. <laughs> Thank you. 
I wonder how much further we go. Four. We see those power Functions up ahead. Ooh, fairly long punching strip. Must get kind of wet around here. A simple but nonetheless elegant one. Still more or less along the edge of a residential area. That pounding thing is up to. Sounds kind of like a pile driver. Whoa, there's an impressive old huge oak.
leaf color is mainly fading now. I've come to conclude that the whole concept of peak foliage is somewhat misleading. First of all, vivid colors seem to depend on cold. And as it's been consistently warmer for a run of years, the sort of cold that really stimulates color making hasn't been coming to us quite as often. You mainly notice it in the low-lying areas where frosts and fogs first sit in form. But the timetable is so out of whack that those things still haven't even gotten notably cold yet, while the low-lying areas have pretty much done their thing. This might be an exception because you got breezes to offset the effect of frost formation. 